this is going to be another video on trig identities. This uh, specific one is going to be about compound angle trig identities. So for example, things like sine of a plus b, sine of a minus b, cos of a plus b, cos of a minus b, tan of a plus b, and tan of a minus b. So here are all the formulas. They're going to be in the formula book, so I'm not going to go through each individual one. You don't have to learn them off or anything like that. Uh, you do have to know how to use them, so if they give you two different angles, uh, you can use this formula to simplify it, and you can also use it to simplify um, other kind of identities. We're going to look at those kind of examples in the next few videos. So the reason I have cos of a minus b boxed off is because you need to learn the formal proof for that, which I'm going to do in the next video, so that's really important. Um, you do need to learn how to prove all of these ones um, in some way, kind of. so I'm not going to go through exactly how to prove each individual one, just you need to be able to start with cos of a minus b, um, so this one here, and then from there you can prove each one individually using these few pieces of information there. Um, just give me one second. So yeah, start those little pieces of information there. So with uh, those here, so if you put cos of minus b, you'll still get cos of b. If you put sine of minus b, you'll get minus sine of b, or tan of minus b, you'll get minus tan of b, uh, and then these two little things here. So with these five pieces of info and this original one, which you can formally prove, then you can prove the rest of them. I'm not gonna go through them all, it'll just take too long, um, but they are in most of the textbooks anyway, so if you want, you can learn them off. Not sure how likely they are to come up. I don't wanna make any predictions just in case. But anyway, in the next video, we're gonna look at the cause of A minus B proof, because I think that's the most important one anyway.